All right. Welcome to day 13 of the December of DCC. Today, we're looking at Daisy the Diesel Rail Car. Um, so if any of you have seen my video on Daisy the Diesel Rail Car, uh, my review of her, which you can check out by clicking, you know, in that little eye icon when it pops up, you'll know that Daisy was equipped with TCS DCC for a while with just a plain silent decoder. And then I eventually equipped her with Loke Sound DCC and sound. Let's get her started up. Oh, that's right. So she has a bud RDC file in her, a single sugar cube speaker, and uh, some custom horn sounds. So if I change CV 163 to a value of zero, she will now play the classic horn sound. And if I change CV 163 again, to a value of one, she will play her CGI horn song. So I'm gonna go back for the sake of this review and change it to her classic horn song. She got some other features. Sometimes it loops and doesn't seven do something? Oh, I swear. Hmm. So we're actually gonna get Daisy moving here now and see some of her other songs. Um, she also has a couple of her themes in, programmed in, but uh, just for re copyright reasons and other things, I don't want to play them. Uh, so she runs pretty well, though. So here she comes to a stop. Whoa, and of course she missed. Oh, she had a dirty spot, huh? Yep. So the only thing that kind of stinks is about low sound is doesn't always. is when her when you hit a dirty spot like that uh, my track probably needs a really good clean and so do her wheels I'm sure I ran her a whole lot um, but anyways uh, shut her down um, that sometimes it just completely loses all programming, sound stops every, not programming, but all the sound stop, lights off, everything. So, but that's Daisy. She, uh, if you'd like to see more about how I installed the DCC decoder in her, again, check out the video at the beginning of the, that I uh, advertised at the beginning. And um, thank you guys so much for watching as always. And stay tuned for tomorrow for day 14. See you then.